Hello YouTube, I'm going to go ahead and start off by saying I've already filmed this video once uh, but I didn't receive with my radio on the remote end and so all the footage is garbage. So we're going to do it again. So what are we going to do? So uh, I see a lot of YouTubers that review antennas and they take the measurements and stuff like that and try to compare them but I don't see a whole lot of antennas being field tested and compared with each other. So I've gathered some of the antennas that I have that are pretty big players in the game and what we're going to do is we're going to take those antennas out and we are going to be transmitting on them at different intervals of miles away from my home location while a radio is being set up at home to record them to compare the results. So I have a few antennas here today and so one is going to be the super elastic signal stick which many of you know. We also have the Nagoya antenna, HT antenna and uh, also, many of you will know this. I forget the model number. I'll put it on the screen here. The third one is going to be a Baofeng rubber duck antenna. So this is just the antenna that comes with the Baofeng itself. And lastly, we have a Captical Whip antenna. And these uh, are falling under different brands. The one that I have here is called the Mirkit antenna. Uh, tactical, I think it's a one-fourth wavelength um, antenna. So it's one of those snappy ones. It's my newest one I've got. kind of like it quite a bit. So I hope it performs well. But yeah, we're going to take these four antennas, uh, four different antennas, and we're going to take them out and measure them at different distances and see how they perform. I will be transmitting on a Baofeng radio at 5 watts. Not the most scientific setup here, but we're going to work with what we got. The receiving end is going to be an Edfong antenna mounted on my balcony, received by FT3D. And we're just going to record that the entire time. Now, judging by the locations I stopped at the other video, this shouldn't be too difficult. So let's go ahead and get started, and our first location is going to be one half miles away. So let's go ahead and try it out. Also, this is one of these videos where I'm going to put quite a bit of work into here and try to get good results. I'm trying to do something a little different. Sometimes the YouTube algorithm doesn't always pick that up, so I don't normally ask for likes. But if you can, please like the video. Uh, it helps out get YouTube on board with promoting the video to other people. And I would like other people to see my content. If you don't like the video, dislike it. Either way, it's fine with me. And as always, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, I do weekly uploads. We do live streams on Sundays at 7 o'clock. So please make sure to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more of my content. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so this is going to be our first test, and this is uh, one half mile away from home. So I'm going to start out with a rubber duck antenna. This is Kilo November 4 by Kilo Bravo, testing the quality of the Balfang rubber duck antenna at one half mile. So we're going to go ahead and screw that off and move on to our signal stick. This is Kilo November 4, my Kilo Bravo testing the audio quality of the signal stick at one half mile. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the Nagoya. It's a lot more traffic than there was this time of day yesterday when I tried to film this, but I think we'll be okay. This is Kilo November 4, Mike Kilo Bravo testing the audio quality of the Nagoya antenna at one half mile. And lastly, we're going to do the tactical antenna. This is Kilo November 4, Mike Kilo Bravo testing the audio quality of the tactical Meerkat antenna at one half mile. So that sums those up, and our next stop is going to be at one mile. So I'll see you there. Alright, so we're one mile down the road, same deal, except we're a lot closer to traffic, so we'll try to do this in between. Start off with the rubber duck antenna. This is Kilo November 4, my Kilo Bravo, testing the quality of the rubber duck antenna at one mile. 
Then we'll move on to the signal stick. This is Kilo November 4, my Kilo Bravo testing the audio quality of the Nagoya antenna at one mile. And lastly, we just have the tactical antenna. This is Kilo November 4, my Kilo Bravo testing the audio quality of the Meerkat tactical antenna at one mile. All right, so next time, I think we're gonna stop about two miles uh, at another church. And it should be a little quieter there. So let's go ahead and move on. November 4, my Kilo Bravo testing the audio quality of the signal stick at one mile. This is Kilo November 4, my Kilo Bravo testing the audio quality of the Nagoya antenna at one mile. This is Kilo November 4, my Kilo Bravo testing the audio quality of the Meerkat tactical antenna at one mile. This is Kilo November 4, my Kilo Bravo November 4, my Kilo Bravo testing the quality of signal stick of the Baofeng at one mile. This is Kilo November 4, my Kilo Bravo testing the quality of the Nagoya antenna at one mile. This is Kilo November 4, my Kilo Bravo testing the quality of the tactical mirror kit antenna at one mile. Alright, so we've made a pretty big leap here. Hopefully uh, there'll still be some reception. But we're actually at two and a half miles at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and get these antennas on here and try her out. So we'll be starting out with the rubber deck antenna. This is Kilo November 4, Mike Kilo Bravo testing the rubber deck antenna at 2.5 miles. And we'll move on to the signal stick. This is Kilo November 4, Mike Kilo Bravo testing the signal stick at two and a half miles. And we'll do the Nagoya. <clears throat> this is Kilo November 4, Mike Kilo Bravo testing the Nagoya antenna at two and a half miles. And last but not least, we'll do the tactical antenna again. This is Kilo November 4, Mike Kilo Bravo testing the near kit tactical antenna at two and a half miles. All right. So I'm actually gonna call up my fiance, make sure she's still able to hear me. And if she is, I'm gonna move on and we'll try maybe three or four miles. So let's go ahead and move on. clips there on the one mile and a half mile those are actually clips from yesterday when I messed up the video and I decided to just go ahead and put those in because that's just more information for people to, to take in but after reviewing the videos personally it looks as though as for ranking best to worst uh, the signal stick and the tactical antenna were very 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 similar I think there was one clip there where the signal stick just sounded a little bit better and then I'm pretty confident to say that the Nagoya antenna was in third place and obviously the rubber duck uh, was in fourth place. So that's kind of how I felt about it. There was a period there in between the one and a half and two and a half miles that if I would have found a nice uh, place to stop and test it there, I would have had a nice better middle ground because you'll notice the last ones, there was a static. But yeah, I hope maybe somebody gets helped out. But I hope this helps somebody out. And they can use this maybe on for information for their next purchase. Uh, I was a little surprised about the the tactical antenna and how it performed after doing the SWR measurements the other day, but it's doing really well. Um, so honestly, for me, I think that if I had the choice, I'm going to take the tactical antenna out because it doesn't do the whole floppy thing, and you can still fold it up. 
but I, I love my signal stick. I really do. Uh, but yeah, I hope everybody enjoyed the video and uh, that'll be it for today, 73.